All right, so we have our Chevy 2 Nova, 64 Chevy 2 Nova. It's making a pretty crazy belt squeak as I accelerate most times. So what I'm gonna do is take you on a quick ride and let you hear what I'm talking about here. So uh, basically what it's doing is when it when you accelerate it, it starts to squeak and it doesn't catch up until you pull in the clutch. So a uh, pretty simple fix and we're gonna show you how. So this is what it sounds like when you're driving. Hopefully you can hear it. If you hit the clutch and let the engine kind of chill, then it catches up. But if you, just depends on, I guess, how much amperage it's drawing, but hopefully you can kind of hear it. There it goes. So once you get the engine spinning faster than that belt can spin, this is what you get as a result. It's pretty annoying. Alright, so on these old engines, when you hear that type of squealing, I mean, <clears throat> it's usually going to be a belt. I mean, it could be a bearing, it could be other things, but when it goes up with the engine RPM like that, um, in my case, what I think is happening is this uh, electric fan uh, is wired to be always on. So what's happening is it's pulling a bunch of amperage. The alternator in turn has to um, draw more electric or actually produce more electricity. So what it's going to do is actually make it harder to spin the pulley. Um, and when it gets harder to spin the pulley, then guess what happens? The belt starts to get a little bit loose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and loosen this bolt here as well as this bolt just slightly. A funny thing, you don't actually have to loosen that. <laughs> There's a nut in the back, so don't listen to me there. And then I'm going to shift the entire alternator over just a little bit to, to make this a little bit tighter. So, I mean, it's not bad, but it is definitely loose. It should not be that much. Um, general rule of thumb on that, don't tighten too much because then you'll blow out your bearings. Um, but I'll go ahead and I'll do that and I'll show you kind of the movement after I'm done. So first and foremost, you'll see here, I mean, it moves quite a bit. So I'll be right back with it all fixed. So one thing to remember here, um, it's pretty hard to do it by hand, so you always want to have something to pry on. Don't go too tight, again, there's no reason to go overly tight, but you certainly want to make it easier while you tighten the bolt down. So make sure this is loose, go ahead and give it a nice tug. You can kind of feel where it's at finger-wise. I'm going to tighten it down right about there. I think we're almost to the point where we need a new belt. This one's getting a little old, but no cracks or rips. All right. So after we made the modification, you can tell we're definitely a little bit more tight there. So I'm gonna double check and make sure that's all tightened up and then we'll go for a test drive. All right, so great news, uh, the belt tightening exercise that we did fix the problem. So first of all, you probably hear it right about now. It starts squealing a little bit. And then when you rev it, it would also squeal. So we're good. 